Before I got to Tokyo, I was like, I need to get my nails done, I need to get my hair done. Um, I was just, I did a lot of things, but once I was here, I'm like, pull your hair back. Like, you need to just go out there and focus, like, stop worrying about your appearance, that type of thing. But um, I think everyone saw my nails. You know yeah. I love your nails, they look amazing. <laughs> yeah, everybody saw my nails back home, and I was like, I wanted to um, have red, white, and blue just to represent my country. Um, so that was a really cool thing that I was glad I did. <laughs>、the games, you know, of course, everybody wants gold.、Um, you know, I knew I wanted to bring back a medal and just to come up with silver,、um, I couldn't be happier. Well, standing on the podium after receiving my medal, I'm just like, I finally did it. I could take a deep breath and、um, just remember all the hard work that I put in to get to this point and all the people who helped me get to this point because it wasn't just me.、Um, you know, I had such a supportive family, friends,、um, fans, doctors. You, you name it,、um, I had so many people in my corner,、uh, and just to have them、uh, help me achieve one of my goals and dreams,、um, I, I was just like, I'm just so happy. <laughs> I have a huge family. I have five sisters and five brothers.、Um, eight of us are adopted, including myself. And being raised in a big family, to me, it's normal.、Um, I always had someone to talk to, someone to play with all the time.、Um, I think that's where I got my competitiveness, just racing to do everything, racing to the bathroom, racing to eat. You know, you, gotta, you, you have to be competitive in that, in that sense.、Um, but I loved every moment of that.、Um, just to see, just to know that they are proud of me,、um, it just brings so much emotion over me. So, when I was in elementary school, my dad had a、uh, shuttle bus, and that's how we kind of drove around town. That's how we got around,、um, went on vacations in that bus. And、uh, like at school, people used to think I was going to a daycare or, you know, some type of like summer after school adventure thing.、Um, but I'm like, no, I'm going home. These are my sisters and brothers.、Um, it's a lot of us. So,、uh, it was just, it was like kind of embarrassing, but it was funny all at the same time. <laughs> Yeah, the sacrifices that I had to do to get here,、um, they were a lot, but I feel like as an athlete, when you set your mind to a goal, the sacrifices don't seem like sacrifices. They're more of like a lifestyle.、Um, you know, eating regiments, eating healthy,、uh, making sure that I sleep and have quality、uh, sleep to recover,、um, those types of things.、Um, and then it helps having my best friend, Jenna Prandini.、Uh, she being, she's my neighbor. So it's nice having her. So we eat all our meals together, we train together.、Um, so having her in my corner, it just to have a best friend that has your same mindset and goals, it's a little bit easier to achieve those goals together. Yeah, I mean, not a lot of people can say that they went to the Olympics with their best friend, and I can say that.、Um, you know, the fact that we're so hardworking and, and driven,、um, and to have a friend just like that, it, it, it's, it's, It's hard to even put in words, but it's like, it's so, it's so cool. Now that I've done the games, have I changed as an athlete?、Um, I wouldn't say I changed. I think I've grown from this experience.、Um, just being able to come here and run well and represent my country and to bring back a medal,、um, I think it brought growth over me.、Um, and I'm just looking forward to the next couple years. I just take it one year at a time. I'm not focused on Paris, like as of right now. I know there's Worlds next year, and then Worlds again, and then the Olympics. So,、um, you know, with the blink of an eye, it's going to be Paris. And of course, that's my next goal. You know, I definitely want to try to go for gold for that、um, in that Olympics and、um, do the best I can.